that the young people will now access their Bible. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah. Where they used to wouldn't access yeah. their Bible. That's right. Now, that has nothing to do with the message. But now when, because you know kids used to come to church and old folks too. And they said, oh, I forgot my Bible. Yeah. That was just an excuse not to read it. Yeah. <laughs> but now when they walk in and they got a phone, <laughs> they have no excuse. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. And so you see everybody going to their Bible application <laughs> or going to the internet and, and everybody's sitting there reading yes. the Word of God. Yes. And they're reading it in their hearing because why? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Yes. So no longer prophet. I don't know why God got me telling folks this. No longer prophet do they need a big old bag like mine. <laughs> if they got a little side pocket. Yeah. They can yeah. put it side pocket. Yeah. And this one fits in my little pocket. Uh-huh. We prayed for a change and a change came. Uh -huh. <laughs> but then we got mad when it came. <laughs> can I tell you, God is just anointed from reading it from this? Yes, man. Yes, man. As it is from reading it from yes. this? Yes. Amen. Hello? There used to be a time that they got mad about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they're getting mad about it. This. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be a time that the devil got mad when preachers started coming on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about turn off the hell of vision. <laughs> yeah. But then God got in the hell of vision. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See, the Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent have to take it back by force. So anything that the enemy has tried to overtake, how many know we're the overtakers? Yes. Man the God, Romans 8, that was just a little side for, for those of us that want to be close-minded. Romans 8, start at 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. All right, go ahead on. <coughs> that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. In who? Us. In who? Us. us. You mean to tell me Jesus ain't coming back to fulfill it? Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me we got to do it? Uh -huh. yeah. But we always say we can't do it. See? Come God on. understand I'm just human. I can't live like Jesus. Not yeah. according to the word. Yeah. Come, Come on. on now. Read. Who walk well, not after the flesh, but after the spirit. All right. Yeah. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Yeah. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Yes. For to be carnally minded is death. Wait a minute. Come on now. To be carnally minded is death. Come on. Now a lot of y'all looking at me, and some of you looking at me are dead. Huh. Because you're carnally minded. Some people only come to church for what they can get out of it. Yeah. And they ain't looking for God. Right. Come on now. Come on. See. They're looking for a feel good. Yeah. Hello? They're looking to try and see if they can hit you. If they touch you, maybe they'll get drunk too. Uh-huh. Instead of touching the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. Hello? Y'all oh, looking at me straight now. That's what we call church folks. Yeah. Come on. Maybe y'all ain't never seen church folks. Yeah. Church folks are folks that show up and they wait for the music to stop. No. Yeah. Before they yeah. move. Yeah. yeah. They sit in church. I'm talking about deliverance tonight. They sit yeah. in church. Come on now. And you sitting beside them, you don't feel nothing. Uh -huh. You ready to kill yourself and you sitting beside a religious folks. Right. Come on, Penny, it's how you ready to walk out and, and then just put a gun in your head if you sitting beside religious folks. And, and, and the word of God is coming forth and they won't even say amen. All right. They got to wait until, hit it, Dom. They won't do nothing. Because God stopped playing. Mm -hmm. Come on. But the word of God Come on, is powerful enough by itself. Yeah. If you don't never hear no music, on, if you don't never hear a drum, yeah. if you talk me to the spirit of the Holy Ghost, you are an overcomer. 
And my son said, Mama, I don't understand what you're scared of. <laughs> and I told him about that. The Lord just gave me a revelation. What am I scared of? Because <laughs> every day I look at something. See? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dead men walking. Hello? Don't have no Holy Ghost. Don't have no fire. Full of mess. Full of fornication. Full of adultery. You just a dead man. Oh, do 
Come on. Come on. Come on. And if y'all was like, somehow I talk about myself, I ain't gonna talk about y'all. <laughs> if you get used to paying a certain amount when God's trying to take you to another level, yeah. you'll be like me. Okay? I'm gonna put a radio can here. <laughs> put a radio can here. Everybody leave the house, don't come back for eight hours. And I'm gonna spray in every room. Uh -huh. Why am I bomb in every room? Uh -huh. Cause yeah. I like to pay that I'm, I'm paying for my rent. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't want to move. See. And stretch my faith. Come on. So I just get rid of the roaches. Wow. Uh -huh. But can I tell you, if you're in an apartment, I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> but if you're in an apartment and it's roach infested, uh -huh. they just run into the next apartment. That's come right. on. Until the poison wear off. That's, That's right. right. And then they're coming back to yours. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Who I don't know who that's for. That's the truth. That's it. God wants you to move. Yeah. You better move. I don't know who I'm talking to. So I turn this way. <laughs> See, let me tell you what roaches bring. Roaches bring sickness and disease. Yes. yes. Hello? Yes, they do. If you tired of suffering yes. all the time, with asthma, clean up. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. Oh, I can just make somebody mad. Come on. I got rid of the roaches and I felt better, but then God said, I told you to move. Uh -huh. I said, God, where am I going to move to? He said, you ain't going to know where to move till you start looking. See. Come on now. I said, well, God, I got faith. You'll show me. He said, I can't show you nothing if you don't move. Uh -huh. So I'm talking about myself. I ain't talking about y'all. Because I know y'all, y'all going to go back home. You're going to go into your chair, your lazy boy, and you're going to kick it back. And you're going to be like, I don't know what that picture talking about. Mm -hmm. I ain't saved like she is. Oh. I ain't got the Holy Ghost like she do. I'm talking, I'm looking at the screen. I ain't looking at y'all. I, I, I don't have all that faith like she got. The Bible says you don't even need that much. Tell me the size of a mustard seed. You can say to the mountain. Now if a mountain to get up and walk and cast itself into the sea, you mean to tell me you can't find an apartment you like? Come on now. Come on. I ain't getting no man's now. So that means they really bad at me. So will you please pray for me? <laughs> Now let me give y'all a testimony talking about walking in the spirit. And when you walk in the spirit, you have life and peace. Let me tell you yeah, about walking yeah. in the spirit. Walking in the spirit. Pastor John gets laid off from his job. God tells me to go look for a house. Uh -huh. Not an apartment, a house. Uh -huh. I go look for the house. Uh -huh. I'm looking for a house that costs about $700, $800. Uh -huh. I couldn't find one that I liked. Uh -huh. Oh, you can hear this in deep South Dallas. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. But I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been delivered. Yes. I've been set free. Yes. And so God sent me to Frisco. Well, in Frisco, you can't find nothing that price. Unless you're on the sisters. There's nothing wrong with being on the But unless you're on the sisters, you can't get that price. And so I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and everything I'm looking at is 1500 1800 right. 2000 2800 I say, Lord, listen now. <laughs> John don't even have a job. Uh -huh. And then I walked into the house we're in today. Mm -hmm. And I looked and God said, this is it. <laughs> I said, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> God, there's no way uh -huh. that we can afford it. Thank he said, you. I didn't ask you to. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now. He said, if you're walking in the spirit, he said, I supply all of your needs mm -hmm. according yeah. to my riches and glory by yeah. Christ Jesus. Yeah. He said, I am your shepherd and you shall not want. Uh -huh. Come up in this house. Yeah. He said, am I such a bad father that if you ask me for bread, that I'll turn around and give you a stone? Come on now. Okay. I said, okay, daddy. You want me to live here? Then you got to do this. Oh, Come on now. Come on. Filled out the, the little application. Went back to College Station. Packed up the truck and the van, and mm -hmm. we ready to move. Mm -hmm. And the woman calls me. Mm -hmm. I said, my husband said, you can't move in. Uh, mm -hmm. I got off the phone, hung it up. Now I'm talking about walking in the spirit. Yeah. And I took, everybody said, well, who was that? I said, oh, that was the lady. She said we couldn't move in. Uh -huh. And they said, what will you do? I said, keep on packing. Oh, right. yeah. 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 And so I kept on packing, and after we closed up the truck, they said, well, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to Frisco, and we're going to move into that house. Uh -huh. They said, but the woman said, her husband, I said, okay, what her husband said, God said. Uh, right yeah. Yeah. Righteous indignation. Yeah. 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 And so, for their sake, how many know God will move for their sake? Yeah. So, for their sake, they say, well, would you at least call? Come on. Yeah. 
called her up, say, listen, I know it back from you, it's 12 o'clock midnight. Oh, we need to move in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to call you back and tell you to come on. I'm right. sorry, right on my way. Walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor John got here. Sit down, no doubt. But God paid for us to stay in that house. Yes. And we moved into that house. It was basically empty. Yeah. I looked around. I said, well, Lord, you done put me in this house. In this big old empty house, <laughs> you're gonna have to fill it up. Yes. And can I tell you, when y'all walk in the house, it's full. Yes. yes. But we didn't do it. God did it. Yes. People call you up, listen, wanna bring something back. You think you might want it? They bring it back. Sure. <laughs> yes. And it hadn't been junk. Yes. I like real wood. I got real wood. Coming. Hallelujah. Hello, in yes. my house, uh -huh. to the glory of God. Yes. Because yes. I walk in the spirit. Yes. Are y'all looking at me? Yes. Yes. Come on, apostle. Come on, come on. You can't walk in the flesh yes. and declare that ulcers be healed. All right. All right. Come on. You can't walk in the flesh and cancer falls off your body. All yes. right, now. See, y'all don't let me talk about y'all, so I got to talk about me. <laughs> come on, apostle. Hello? You can't walk in the flesh. And expect God to take the impossibility okay. and make it possible. Oh, no. See, everybody is crazy as me. I'm, I don't tell nobody to do what I do. I just tell people to watch me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like Abraham. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you say you got faith. Let me show you my faith by my works. <laughs> Hello? Just watch me. Watch me. Watch and see Patrick. You better watch. <laughs> watch me and see don't God do what he said he was gonna do. Yeah. I told uh, uh is she back in here? She ain't back in here. I, I can't talk about it until she get back in there. I'm my son. I'll talk about it when she get back in here. But talk about myself. Ulcers healed. People see us prophet and they think we've never gone through anything. Yes. I can't help you get delivered if I ain't never been delivered. All right. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let this settle for a minute. For everybody to think Pastor John and I don't never have an issue. Come on. Come on. We do. We do. I'll let that marinate for a minute. Because too many preachers get up on the pulpit and they act like there's never anything going wrong in their life. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. But we need God just like you do. Yes. Yes. Matter yes. of fact, we need him more. Yes. Oh, you say, why? Because he hide all of our mess from y'all. Oh, Come on. I'm going to just be real. Come on. Amen. Come on. He covers us. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Prophet, keep on reading because they don't want to listen to me. <laughs> because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Mm -hmm. For it is not subject to the law of God. Mm -hmm. Neither indeed can be. All right. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. My Lord. Now wait a minute. You mean to tell me that a carnal mind is enmity against God. And it is not subject to the law of God. So if it's not subject to the law of God, why do we keep expecting people in the world to obey God? Come on now. They don't know him. Yeah, right. They don't understand him. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is show them God. Work it. Yeah. Work it. Work it. Work it. I didn't say preach to them. I said show them God. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't you know that if Miss Betty didn't know me, she know me now. <laughs> but if Miss Betty didn't know me, and I saw her on the street and she wasn't saved, and I looked at her and I began to tell her all her business, she's going to be like, wait a minute. Do you know me? No, oh, baby, I've never met your dad in my life. But the God that I serve, say if you trust him, he'll make everything all right. Matter of fact, when you were laying down, now if I go into her bedroom, say when you was laying down last night, you were weeping before God about 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Don't you know I got her attention? All right. I'm showing her God. Up. Because yeah. yeah. what did I just tell her? I just told her that God heard her when she cried. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We are living in the season where we got to show people God and stop just talking about God. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can talk about him. The devil talks about him, but he ain't going to never get saved. Yeah. All right. Matter of fact, he talked against him. Yeah. <laughs> but he ain't gonna never get saved. Yeah. Come on. He said he's better than God. 
And he's a liar too. Yes, he is. Hello? Yes. But it's time to start showing people God. Yes. I love showing people God. Yes. Hallelujah. Caleb, I don't like to take a trip if I ain't going to see Jesus. All right. Hello? Yes. People. God's real. You just don't believe in it. Hello? All right. I don't get on the plane without looking for a miracle. All right. When I got to Michigan, the first thing the man said to me when I got there, he said, I'm canceling my appointments for tomorrow. Because if God lets you get on the plane, then there's something going on. All right. I said, you know I'm sick. And here it is a man that had been in and out the hospital for three years, had his chest cracked open. Come on. You know they take them big old things and clip your, your chest bone? But now when I left him, he was here. All yeah. right. Totally totally here. Totally here. Totally here. Totally here. Totally here. Totally here. Hello? I said, Lord, I love you. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. And the wife, and everybody don't know who I'm talking about, so I can talk about it. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But the wife, when I got there, the wife said I was ready to give up. Mm. I just wanted to walk away. But when I left there, the wife fell in my arms and cried. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And said, thank you, Apostle. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. 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 To bring God to us. All right. Every now and then, all you need to do is reignite your fire. Yes. Right. With the Lord. Yeah. Stop trying to please man and please yes. God. Yes. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Say it. I told Pastor John when we get married, when we got married, I'm gonna be mad at you sometime. He's gonna be mad at me. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I told him, if you please God, I'll be alright. Yeah. Even if I get mad at you, if you please God, I'll be alright. Yeah. Amen. So you can't walk in the flesh. Yeah. Especially with me. <laughs> and, I, and I think one of the, the Bruners told me, you know, we couldn't with our daddy. Yeah. God tell them all I'd be. <laughs> Couldn't get away with nothing. <laughs> because their daddy walked in the spirit. Amen. I couldn't get away with nothing with my mom and she wasn't even saying. So, you see, this is more dangerous when you got a prayer and there's Holy Ghost filled and fell about time. Less known a prophet. I'm glad she wasn't no prophet. Because I would have been kicked out of my, outside of my house. Pat along with me, some stuff he did. Don't even know where he's at. You gonna tell him where you at? Uh huh. Both of us would have got kicked out. I got drunk just a little bit. Hush. Green problem. So then they are in the flesh, cannot please God. Mm -hmm. But ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit. Mm -hmm. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. All right. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead uh -huh. because of sin. Yeah. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Yes. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies yes. by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Yes. Wait a minute. Read that part again. But if the spirit. He loves us. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Yes. Now, those yes. of us that think we on the verge of death. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There is no more hope. But the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Yeah. If it's on the inside of you. Yeah. Uh, baby, it'll raise you up too. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. That's how you're able to see dead men get up off of their sick bed. Come on. And walk. Yeah. Because yeah. the same spirit that resurrected Jesus. Uh -huh resurrects them. Uh -huh. I don't know why God got me teaching because I feel like preaching when I got up here. <laughs> that same powerful spirit mm -hmm. lives on the inside of you. Can you get up for a minute for me? I used to mess with Pat. Now I'm a mess with Pat. Oh, <laughs> I use Katie because he's closer to me. <laughs> Stand in front of me, please, sir. No, no, no. You turn around face him. I know y'all can see me because I'm wider than him. <laughs> but I'm not taller than him. Uh, but I'm not taller than him. 
If you're in Christ, don't you know the devil can't get to you? All right. All right, now. Why? Because number one, he can't see you. Come on now. Uh -huh. He can't find you. All right. You say, well, how do we get in so much trouble then? Wow. Come on. Yeah. We get in front of Christ. Come on. And we tell the Lord, I got this. Uh -huh. yeah. I can take care of this. I can yeah. handle this. Yeah. I'm big and bad enough. I, I heard one of my good friends, and, 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 and I don't want to call his name, but I'm going to call it anyway. And he said, I'm big, bad, bitch, very long. Uh, Ain't nobody going to mess with me. Uh, oh my goodness. Can I tell you, the devil came and messed yes. with him. Right. Right. I had another bishop friend that said, the devil won't attack me. Uh -huh. And that bishop, when he came back the next morning, he said, I must repent. Because uh -huh. I thought of myself more highly yeah, right. than I ought. Yeah. He said, God took the head. A protection from around me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cause God said, if you big and bad enough to fight him by yourself, I'm gonna let you. All yeah. right. Well, the devil came in that night and almost choked him to death. Mm. And the bishop said he wrestled with the devil, uh -huh. and he said he couldn't even breathe. Uh -huh. All he could think was Jesus. All right. And he heard the Lord say, "But you got to say His name." All yeah. Right. All right. All right. And the devil let up just a little, and he cried Jesus. <laughs> and he said immediately the devil. <laughs> So when you were here, I'll tell you some damn. Jesus, you left me. <laughs> <laughs> he stood in front of him, that's why Jesus left me. <laughs> you know what he does? Come on back up. But when you walk in the spirit, you're in Christ. Yeah. And only then can you say no weapon. Amen. Formed against me shall prosper. Because now sickness got to get through Jesus. Amen. Depression got to get through Jesus. Right. Poverty got to get through Jesus. Right. Hello, up in this house. Your feelings getting hurt got to get through Jesus. Hello, up in this house. People trying to kill you, they got to get through Jesus. That's how I got this revelation. He normally hugs me like this. Ah. I can't see. <laughs> I mean, he over in there, and you know you overshadow me. I can't see nothing. You say, what are you trying to say? We walk by faith. Yes. And yes. not by something. Yes. All right, all right. You got to trust that he loves you enough yes. to lead you in the direction that you should go. Yes. You don't have to see everything. You don't have to know everything. All you got to do is trust him and he will lead you in the pathway that leads to life and godliness. Amen. God wants to deliver you tonight. And who do we want to deliver you from you? All right. Everybody praying for you, but you ain't praying for yourself. Say it on now. Hello? Say that again. Everybody's praying for you. But don't go. <laughs> but you ain't praying for yourself. But you wondering why God had not moved. God, the Bible says, according to your faith, mm -hmm. so shall it be. Yes. Unto you. Yes. Ooh, I'm really going to get in trouble now. There are people that are in this house that God has healed you before. Mm -hmm. All right. And you lost it. Mm -hmm. And you blamed it on the devil. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the devil. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It was God. Yeah. Yes. You said, I don't believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Bible declares that Jesus visited a city mm -hmm. where he had done much healing in that land. Mm -hmm. And he saw that they had not repented. Yeah. Yeah. Who got yeah. And the Bible declared that he uprooted mm -hmm. every miracle he did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they went back to the way that they were. Yeah. Uh -huh. And don't you know they were worse off? Yeah. Because they had tasted of the goodness of the Lord. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now they couldn't taste it no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what it feels like. Maybe some of y'all do. 
to be debt free. Mm -hmm. And then turn around because you big and bad now. Mm -hmm. And you get back in the debt. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on, Apostle. You'll know what it feels like to be healed. Mm -hmm. And then that disease come upon you because you thought you could do it your way. Yeah. My mother's the only person I ever met. God healed her. I saw God heal her. Mm -hmm. And I left town. Be careful who you hang out with. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I left town and the devil told her that she needed to get back on the mm. And because they pursued her so heavily, the devil is going to pursue you. Mm -hmm. yeah. She yeah. got back on it. And when she saw my face, she just cried and cried. Mm. I said, but that's all right, Mama. God is going to heal you again. Yeah. But this time, it's going to be somebody else's kid uh -huh. instead of your own. Mm. We have become so commonplace to death that we don't understand that there are times for you to live, somebody got to die. Oh, yeah. 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 For my mama to live, uh -huh. somebody died. Uh -huh. Come on. We need to think about that for a minute. For you to live, uh -huh. Jesus had to That's right. die. That's right. Amen. Salvation is free. Salvation is free. Salvation. That's because somebody already paid the price. Yeah. Right. Caitlin, my little pick on. I love him, but he don't love him. Caitlin, where's that? It's 17 and a half. 17 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, where's that? Caitlin, where's that? Caitlin, where's that? I love him. 17 and a half. <laughs> After 17 and a half. Oh, Caitlin, no, I'm crazy about him. After 17 and a half. He's getting ready to step into specialty shoes. Uh -huh. All right. Don't we'll have to get a maid. Don't we'll have to order. Mm -hmm. Now to Caleb, that don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Why? Cause he ain't paying for it. Right. <laughs> uh, come on now. Yes. All he knows is when he get up mm -hmm. and he needs some shoes, uh -huh. they're going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because somebody else already paid the. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But he's got enough sense to take care of. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on now. But we don't have enough sense to guard our salvation. Mm -hmm. Though somebody else paid for it. Yeah. All right. You say, prove it. We allow ourselves to become garbage cans to the world. All yeah. right. All right. We allow ourselves to get involved in gossip. Come on. We don't. Oh. up with people that are not like-minded right. yeah. yeah. and we become garbage cans yes. and this is the way people justify well you know Jesus was a friend of the world I know. he was but guess what Jesus turned him from yes. when was the last time you turned somebody yeah. okay. are they still unsaved <laughs> and now are you doing what they did hello if you're hanging out with sinners, what's your reason for hanging out with okay. them? Yes. Oh, Jesus hung out with them to show them the light. Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. Once you walked in darkness and you see light, you run after the light. Yes. Yes. Amen. Oh, y'all got in trouble. <laughs> Prophet finished because uh, it's some folks have turned me off. <laughs> Amen. 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 Let's finish up real quick. Prophet. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, ye shall die. What? Right. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. What? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Wait a minute. <laughs> If you're led by the Spirit of God, uh -huh. then you are a son of God. Yes. Destiny, you're a son. Amen. You say, but it don't make sense. I'm a girl, but you're a son. Amen. It don't make sense that he a bride. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. That's what the Bible says. Yes. That's what it says. With a bride. With a bride. Yes. We're waiting on the bridegroom. Yes. See, God 
I'll take stuff that don't make no sense uh-huh. and talk to her. Yes. How in the world can I be a son? Yeah. But I'm a girl. Come on. And I ain't twisted. Uh-huh. But I'm a son. Come on. I ain't no dyke. Come on. I ain't butch. Come on. Come on. But I'm a son. Yeah. Of the most high God. Yes, Why? Yes. Because God has said in him there is no male nor female, yes. Jew nor Greek. So you are a son of God. Yes. Around here trying to figure out God, baby. Not your name. Stop leaving. Right. Jew no green. Male no female. Come on, Paul. Want me to sit down? I'm sorry, I can't. Come on. Yeah. Want me to stop preaching because I'm a woman? I'm sorry, I can't. Come on now. Because the Holy Ghost yeah. preach. Yeah. And as the Holy Ghost speaks, so do I. Yeah. I'm not even sure it can go. Maybe I'm a giant in the door. I ain't met nobody yet, Gerald. I'm scared of it. I don't know about it. Why? Because great is he that is in me. Yes. And he that is in the world. Yes. That's not a quote. That's my yes. life. Yes. That has to be your life. Because yes. yes. the devil knows when you're scared. Yes, he does. The devil knows when you are afraid. The devil knows when you're walking in the flesh. Come on. And he's going to come after that area when you're walking in the flesh. Come on Every day you got to pray. That's why the Bible says pray without ceasing. Because yeah. if you pray without ceasing, you don't slip. Oh, I just slipped. The devil is alive. That's right. Right. Come on now. Thank you. you made a conscious decision yes. to do what you did. Yes. Yes. That's you're right. right. Hello? Come on. I hear people, I, I accidentally cussed. No, you didn't. You just, that's what was in you. Come on. If it came out, it was in you. Yeah, Come on. It and it probably scared you if you say it for real. Like, I didn't even know that was in me. Why would God allow that to come out to let you know you're not perfect? Oh, I, right. Right. I cursed one time and I got tickled at myself. I said, did I really try to do that? <laughs> Hello? Are you stupid? I was talking to myself. Are you stupid? If Jesus had came back right then, you would have been left. Yeah. That scared me enough never to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. See. You got to speak the word to yourself. Yeah. To keep, the Bible says, work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. Baby, I tremble at night time. Come on. Woke up last night in a chill, uh-huh. trying to imagine what heaven looked like. Oh, right. Come on. Trying to imagine the enormity of God. Yeah. And I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. But I knew enough to say, Lord, I repent. Yeah. Whatever it is, I repent. Yeah. Whatever you're shaking up in my spirit, I repent. Yeah. Because I want to be used by you every second, every minute, every hour of the day. I don't want to miss that one moment of you moving in my life. So when I do wrong, I immediately repent. Come on, Lord. Even if they don't want to hear my repentance, Come on. I repent anyway. Come we got to finish, prophet. I don't went too long. <laughs> Hello, finish, please. Cause God got me teaching. I really wanted to preach. Come on. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Yes. Come on. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. What? But ye have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. All Wait a minute. Right. <laughs> You've been adopted. Yeah. You've been adopted. Mm-hmm. I'm really going to get in trouble now. <laughs> You've been adopted. Yeah. All right. So why are you acting like somebody else's child? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've been adopted. Mm-hmm. I was telling somebody one day, I said, if I adopt your child, your child becomes a black woman. All right. Uh-huh. And that means your child gonna act like a black whip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your child gonna talk like a black whip. Uh-huh. They gonna move like a black whip. Uh-huh. And if you feed them long enough, they gonna look like a black whip. All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and they say, but that's my child. Not if they take on a black whip. Yeah. They become a black whip. Uh-huh. Guess what? If you take on the name of Christ, look yeah. okay. out. You are. Act like Christ. All right. You ought to walk like Christ. Yes. You ought to talk like Christ. Yes. You ought to look like Christ. Yes. You ought to speak like Christ. Yes. Now I'm really finna get in trouble. You ought to be doing miracles like yes. Christ. Yes. Yes. If you really took on yes. Christianity. Come on. Guess what? You don't have to be a prophet. You don't have to be an apostle. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a teacher. All you got to be is saved. Yes. Oh, I 
got in trouble. Come on. Jessica, when you go back this time, you're going to have more Holy Ghost boldness than you've ever had. Your mama told me a little bit about it. I got tickled. <laughs> but wait till you get back this time. All right. The Holy Ghost going to rise up in you, baby girl. The devil ain't going to know what to do. And this time, it's going to scare the hell out of him. And I ain't cursing Him, not you, him. It's going to scare everybody that has talked against you. It's going to scare the hell out of them. Right. And I ain't cursing. I'm using it in context. Because they full of hell. And when you speak, they're going to start running for Jesus. That's what I mean when I say scare the hell out of them. Because they're going to run towards the Lord. They're going to say, I don't understand what Jessica got. But the Jessica that I used to know, baby. But now, she walks in power All right. and authority. All right. Yes. You don't even understand me changing as I look at you now. Oh, I say, I'm your local son. I see the anointing of God upon your life. Amen. Hey, Oh, I'm getting kind of excited now. Hey, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your secret dreams are getting ready to come to pass. All right. The other ones that you hadn't told nobody. Hallelujah. They get ready to come to peace. <laughs> so start looking. God say, don't put no cap on it. Because yeah, he'll make it come to pass. Yes. Okay. But you got to keep your eyes on him. Yes. Not on mama. Not on daddy. Not on hubby. Not on nobody. Not on grandma. But God said, keep your eyes on him. And girl, you're going to be a happy woman All right. for the rest of your life. Right. You're going to be a happy woman. Real happy. Real happy. Real happy. You know, we use that scripture, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. But something God just wants us to be happy with. Yeah. That's right. And he wants you to be happy. Happy is an emotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joy is a spirit. Yeah. But happiness is an emotion. Yeah. And she's going to be real, real happy. Real happy. All right. Real, real happy. Because yeah. she's getting ready to walk in the spirit like she ain't never known. She get ready to talk in the spirit. Your sister. Yeah, you're going to watch her change, Kate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're going to watch her change. She's, she's going to be a powerful woman of God. To the glory of God the Father. The anointing of God is upon her life. I know about that. I'm not looking at it anymore because I just can't stand. The glory is upon her. Oh, my prophet finished reading something real quick. Because I know we got to get up out of here because I done bored some people. Because I done prophesied to them. <laughs> <laughs> the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And the children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Can I tell you something? What do you need to be an heir if God is broke? Oh, okay. Come on. Wow. See? Thank you. Come on. If God is broke, there is no inheritance. Right. Come on. Right. Heirs are inheriting something. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So if you are an heir and a joint heir, we don't even understand what that means. When there's a joint heir, that means there's so much as enough air back. Yes. 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 So it's enough for you. Amen. And it's enough for me. I don't have to get mad at Sonia because she seems like she do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's right. Come on. Because God hear my songs too. I just mind just won't go all over the world. Come on. <laughs> Hello? Yes. I don't get mad because Kayla is going to be about seven feet too. <laughs> I get on my step now, I'm seven feet two too. Come on now. Okay. I'm, there's a way. Yes. Because they come on March the 16th, they'll be married 30 years. Oh, Don't get mad at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make no mind. Yeah. I don't get mad at Don because he go out and, and his wife get a brand new car. Come on. Oh, and he come home and she got a new car. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> and he get in and drive and he ain't mad at her. Why? Because when she blessed, he blessed. Yeah. And when he blessed, she blessed. Yeah. I'm getting some reverb. I'm getting some back feed out of here. Some feedback. 
Maybe they stuff his own. I don't get mad. So stop getting mad. Amen. When the saints of God get blessed. Amen. Amen. I get excited. Why? Because I say next. From God, from glory, I mean, my God. Look like every time I turn around, she's getting a new ball ball. Glory. And I say, do you have enough yet? And, and I thought it was going to kind of chill down when she got married to Pastor Mark. Uh-uh, look like it picked up. Because he wasn't mad at his wife. He was happy. He went and got her new. Amen. Hello? And I don't know what they got four vehicles. See, like, see, they got, is it four? You got your little toy? Yes, he does. Yeah, that toy that don't nobody ride with you. <laughs> you go to the grocery store and then you come to the church. You got three wheel. And the SUV. And is it two mobile? Ain't that four vehicles? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, you need to quit. Hello, that's five. <laughs> I love it. Every time God blessed her, because she knew that I wasn't a hater, she'd come show it to me. Yeah. All right. And I'd scout with her. Yeah. You need somebody to rejoice with you yeah. when you are blessed. Mine's coming. Amen. Yeah. I ain't heard about it. Yeah. So I rejoice with her. Do I want a Volvo if somebody give it to me? Sure. <laughs> But my preference uh -huh. is the Mercedes Benz Sports Coupe two seater. I see, come on now. Yeah, see. Come on now. That's my preference. Why? Right. Because there's only enough room in there for Pastor John and I. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I raised my children. Glory yeah. now. Uh, I understand. Come on now. I just need enough room for Pastor John and myself. That's it. And we'll have a family car, maybe. <laughs> yeah. James, I can get in his truck, I hope. Every now and then. Uh -huh. But he already told me that's enough room for him and Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we're going to have some vehicles that I play. All right. They got to be Amen. money for the family. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. But I ain't mad at them. Come on. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm not mad when you're blessed. Glory. Amen. The Bible says rejoice with those that yes. rejoice. Yes. 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 Right. And right. we would, I don't know why I'm talking like this. We must have some haters in the house. Oh, come on now. When your sister get blessed, rejoice. Yeah. When your brother get blessed, rejoice. Yeah. And then the Bible says that Jesus said, and by this, they'll know you no. by this. Yeah. 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 By your love that you have, one for another. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm mad at you, Tanisha, I need to be able to keep it in the house. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't make me take it outside the house. Yeah. Cause then the Holy Ghost made me do it. Cause I don't like doing it outside the house. All right. Hello. Yeah. I, ne I never liked it, Sonny, when Mama whooped me outside the house. Yeah. Cause that means everybody saw. Mm -hmm. So let her whoop me in the house, which it really didn't make no difference with me, cause I hollered so loud. <laughs> everybody knew when I was getting whooped. Sure, <laughs> I hollered. <laughs> I tried to find sympathy. I said, Mama, you made me bleed. <laughs> Man. She whooped she, she you with a rose bush. Oh. Yeah. What the but you know what she told me? You the one that went and got it. Okay. <laughs> you the one braided it up. But you know what? On a serious note, and, and, and I don't know why God wouldn't let me preach like I wanted to, but on a serious note, we do the same thing with God. All right. Well. We get mad when he whooped us. But he said, you're the one that brought the tool for me to whoop you with. Mm -hmm. Come on. You brought it to me. Hello? And then you're going to get mad that I used on, to correct you mm -hmm. and draw you closer to me? Right. He said, I chasing those that I love. Yes. yes. Hello? Yes. So don't get mad at God because of some things that you got yourself into. Let him use it to get you out of it. Yes. Learn from it. Yes. I learned to be weak. Mm -hmm. yes. I had to learn that. Mm -hmm. Because the doctors were telling me I was going to be sick. Uh -huh. So I learned to be weak. Yes. Yes. How did I learn? 
by meditating on the Word of God every day. Yes. Uh -huh. By confessing what the Word says. Yes. Yes. And standing on it. Yes. yes. When they told me I want to go have no children, I kind of agree with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Pastor John did. <laughs> he didn't agree with it. <laughs> Guess what? It worked for him. <laughs> now let me tell you what. Because he was the head. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to use some authority. I ain't get pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I'm supposed to do. Not get pregnant. I ain't get pregnant. I guess he probably just looked at me and said, oh, <laughs> I'm going to get me some boys. <laughs> but we do the same thing with God. God knows when we're whining and he knows when we're serious. Yes. I hear it again. He knows when we're whining and he knows when we're serious. Yes, he does. When we get to whining, God don't pay any attention to us. That's right. He said, I saw your heart. Uh -huh. And your heart was to please me. All, All right. All this other mess, I ain't paying attention to that. Uh -huh. So I don't know why God didn't let me preach tonight, but heaven knows I wanted to. Thank you.